Thank you so much for tuning in, Mr. Mitsubishi here. When it comes to fully loaded interiors on the Outlander PHEV, it actually doesn't matter, gas or PHEV, there are three options. Number one is black interior. Number two is a premium upgraded interior, which is black with those orange inserts. Number three is this uh, light gray or white interior. I like this interior so much. It deserves special attention. So in this video, we'll check out a little bit closer how it looks. Uh, we'll look at the door panel, the interior seats and everything else. Super, super cool interior. Let's check it out right now. Okay, and let's check it out. We'll have a look at it both. We'll have a look at the front um, side and then we'll have a look at the uh, second row and we'll also check out the third row uh, seating. Let's check out the uh, front. Um, you know, uh, front two seats first. Uh, as we approach the vehicle, we can see how cool uh, this door looks and it contrasts with uh, these black panels and white or light gray. So officially it's called light gray interior. I always refer it as white because it does look very white. It doesn't look uh, gray. So, you know, white or light gray, there's only one kind of option for this. So you're not gonna confuse anybody if you're gonna walk into any Mitsubishi store and uh, you're gonna ask for uh, light gray or white interior. So this one here is SEL. PHEV with sterling silver color. Sterling silver, by the way, is free color option, so that's awesome. And this one is PHEV. We have the PHEV badge right here. And by the way, here at Tri City Mitsubishi, it's right here, Tri City Mitsubishi. We don't charge anything over MSRPs uh, when it comes to uh, purchase price of PHEVs. We have good amount of inventory on ground right now. Please visit if you live locally here. So let's get to it. Um, let's check out some more of uh, this uh, gorgeous interior. Now that we established the door looks awesome. This diamond stitching is really, really cool. We can see how same thing for seats. We can contrast here white one with uh, black plastic and the seat itself. It just looks and feels really nice and cushiony and same diamond stitch theme kind of carries throughout the vehicle armist and everything else i really like how even you know mitsubishi has designed these small elements with these inserts right here they didn't make just plain looking seat same thing on the sides right here it just looks really really good i like it a lot and as we kind of like sit in a vehicle we can see how this panel same thing contrasts with two-tone we have this white contrasting with the black and also this uh, central console part is very cool as well you have the light leather right here and also on the other side so there's a lot of this uh you know uh awesome luxury theme that we can feel um very nice big panoramic sunroof of course is part of uh, this vehicle and uh also we have a uh, headliner is uh, light gray uh so same light bright feel you have on gtp your headliner is going to be black but on this you know you know you have nice light interior and as you jump in the vehicle you sit in it everything else that you can notice right here and up there it's going to still feel nice and airy and and bright so this horizontal design looks really cool together with these piano glass uh, stripes right here and again that just adds to this um uh, luxury feel for the vehicle uh, central screen is real cool we have these uh, you know full lcd and then we have the tom tom navigation nine inch screen very very good we really really like that part so because this is a phev you do have you know one pedal or innovative pedal drive and you have the ev modes right here and uh you know same thing piano gloss around here so i really also like these chrome elements that go around here just gives you again this contrast and this upscale luxury uh feel for it so right now the sun is almost down so that's why we have you know this uh uh, it looks a little bit darker than in a bright si uh, bright light. So that's why I like to do a lot of these videos in different light and different time of the day. So you can see how it looks, interior, exterior and everything else. So by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Lots of lots of good content uh, on, on the channel here. So we're done with the first row. Let's check out the second row right now. And the second row, same thing with the door. Nice contrasting door. And we have the door panels right here with the diamond stitch and the full second row we have same thing with this light gray nice airy feel we have you know even backs of the seats are with slight slight gray with pockets for your phones maps books whatever the case would be climate control with heated seats on the back 
and we do have very perfect view for the uh, second row <laughs> right here we can see how this panoramic sunroof looks very very good and if you're sitting here as a passenger you know if there's nobody in the front then you can see the full view of uh, you know this uh, uh, gloss two-tone element and everything else so these seats are uh, 60 40 split we can see you know they can slide in those uh, uh, lines right here um, and then of course the back can be um, adjusted as well to see how you want it uh, how steep or how reclined you want to go for it so this part here uh, folds down if you want to uh, it's kind of hard with one hand but uh, uh, it's an uh, armist or actual seat if you want to you have cup holders in there as well so you can use it however you would want uh, to use it so this one here definitely looks really good because you have this light or a white gray interior and um, you have silver color and 20 inch wheels because it's an SCL upgraded so this is how would uh, uh, a lower trim level look with uh, just regular wheels I really like these 20 inch wheels machined uh, two-tone alum aluminum wheels really contrasts well together with everything like the chrome the shiny the the black a uh, grill and the a pillars blacked out looks really really cool okay let's check out the third row and the trunk and this is how the third row looks so we do have uh this seat right here it's also same light gray or white interior which is very good uh they kept the same theme throughout the vehicle i'm happy that mitsubishi did that they didn't cheap out didn't just put black seat in there uh so it looks the same on all vehicles so uh what we have here it's one solid piece and we have these arm uh, or these headrests are already uh built and mounted in the seat in the construction so it's different than on the gas version the gas version you have to put them in stick them in the armrests or the headrests uh on these ones we already have that built in the seat it's quite cool so this is a seven seater plug-in hybrid which makes it really really cool and now let's check out a little bit more there is uh three ways how you can um sort of utilize these seats uh and uh, trunk combination let's check them out uh, right now by the way uh this outliner has this kick motion so you just kick it like this and this is going to open up the tailgate it's a very 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 good feature to have and uh, once you start using it it's going to be one of your favorite uh features for sure okay so this is how we're looking so this is the position when the seat is upright is ready to um, be used as a third row for passengers these are the headrests we can get them up like this pretty big headrests i gotta say they almost look too big for uh proportion wise but you know for the safety uh point of view i guess uh it's good to have big headrests like that so you can fold them down if you don't want to use it that's one thing and then this seat right here so here's the three ways how you can go about it so this is number one you have the seat like this ready for passengers and you still have good amount of uh, space left here for whatever the carry-ons you might have with you now let's check out the second way and the second way is if you fold it down like this and now once it's folded down like this so here's a cool part so obviously you won't be able to sit in it but you have a lot of uh, space here for your grocery bags and whatnot so sometimes what i found with suvs and, and cars with large trunks you put something in there and then it just slides all over the place this prevents it so you put something in there it's very um you know um compact then it's not gonna slide uh, a lot of places and then you have these grocery bag hooks here or bag hooks here on both sides you can put them right here and then uh, clip it right there and it's just gonna stay in place very very cool now if you want to get flat surface that's the third way how to go about it and there we go this is the third way how you can have uh, the third row utilized completely flat surface large area now you can put your boxes bags and everything else uh, inside of your outlander so there we go we just checked out uh, this uh, outlander phev sterling silver with white or light gray interior you can call it however you want it but i really really like this outlander it looks like million bucks one of my favorite combinations the silver with this interior i like it a lot so thank you so much for checking out this video I hope you like it as much as I do and uh, see you next time around.